Sammy Farha, bigger than life, wonders what he has to do to get rid of this guy. More from Caesars right after this. Welcome back to the home of champion Caesars Palace, Las Vegas, host of the 2006 National Heads Up Poker Championship. We're in the quarterfinal round where one match is still to be determined. And while we were away, Ted Forrest picked up a few small pots. He still trails, however, Sammy Farha with the advantage. Blinds at their highest levels, 8 and 16,000. And as we've seen before, Ted Forrest is a tough man to keep down for the count. Farha was suited King Jack here. He just calls the 8,000. Ted Forrest, pair fives, all in. <laughs> all in again. I'm not fooling around. I'm Ted Forrest. Look at the percentage split on this one. Dead even. If Sammy calls. Call. Sammy calls. Let's go. I'm bored. Yeah, we'll try it again. Sammy said, let's go. Let's get this thing over with. The fans around this match have been up and down like Catholic Church on Sunday. Get lucky this time. I have no reference point for that comment. Only thing I know about Catholic Church is bingo. And now they see that they're just about even. Just about even in chips, just about even in chances to win the hand. Well, you can hear Sammy's frustration. Let's go. He has been on the verge of eliminating Ted Forrest all match long. Flop comes 10-9 deuce. Not really a good flop for Sammy. He doesn't have a spade. He needs a king, queen, or jack. That's not a spade. The turn brings a three of diamonds. Down to the river. Sammy needs jack, queen, or king. That's not a spade. Rivers of five of clubs. Ted Forrest has doubled up again. Leaving Sammy with very little. Ted Forrest won't go away. But it looks like uh, Sammy's going away here. Sammy doesn't realize that he's got 25,000 and nobody's stopping him. I think the people that count the chips here are the people that counted the uh, ballots in Florida in 2000. You know, it, w it was one too many suckouts for Sammy, and it, he's, he's so discouraged by that, he thinks he's lost the match. Yes, Sammy can think that, but somebody should be telling Sammy that he's still in the tournament. Our dealer buddy is going to save the day. He's counting the chips and... Call Sammy back. Sammy still has chips. <laughs> he's saying call Sammy back, and the fans are waving him back now. Sammy said, what's going on? Hey, all right, I got another chance. Sammy Faha is getting a curtain call. Okay. 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 Sammy's back in business. Sammy actually feels great right now. When you think you've lost the tournament and you get another shot, even though it's a little shot, makes you feel good. It's an amazing match, I'm telling you this. You better go all in before I do it. I well, 25,600, right, Sammy? A pair of nines for Ted Forrest. And he will go all in. It's an all in for Ted. He's got an ace, however, does Sam Farha. Ace Trey moves all in. Probably I have him beat again this time. As usual, I got him beat. I got him beat. I know that now. Not this time, Sammy. You're going to have to catch an ace, but I wouldn't be surprised the way this match has gone to see an ace come out there. And yeah, maybe Farha can get lucky here. There have been 14 all-in and calls in this match. That's amazing. Flop 10 5 Jack. No ace for Sammy. Ted Forrest currently has the better hand with pocket nines. Sam will need some help here. Sam still needs that ace. Running king queen or running threes. Here comes the turn. No ace on the turn. Eight of clubs. Sammy is now down. Sammy's tournament life. Is down to the three aces that are left in the deck. He's got to catch one of them. Feels like the second time. Let's see the river. Or he'll be eliminated for the second time. And he is eliminated this time for real. Ted Forrest advances. He eliminates Sam Farha. What a wild match! The resilient Ted Forrest will move on. 
And with that match officially complete, the semifinal matchups are set. Sean Chacon advances from the Hearts bracket. He'll face Diamond Bracket winner Ted Forrest. The other semi, Chris Ferguson versus Huck Seed. Catherine Tappan is with our latest winner. We talked to Sean Chacon about facing you next, and he said that you are spooky. <laughs> what does that mean? That's right. I'm spooky good and spooky lucky. Look out, Sean. <laughs> Congrats and good luck in the semis. Thank you. So four players remain after a fantastic quarterfinal round. <laughs> so for Gabe Kaplan and Catherine Tappan, this is Matt Vaskersian saying so long from Caesars. You've been watching the National Heads Up Poker Championship on NBC.